Listeners, uh, glad to have you with me on Learn Everyday English. Uh, we have a special guest uh, with us today. I would say in the studio, but he's uh, in another country far, far away, but maybe not <laughs> too far from here in Tejas. He's actually in Mexico, in Monterrey, and uh, I'm glad that he could uh, free up some time, we say, on a Sunday, late almost afternoon, and chat with me about his uh, experience learning English, and I think you'll maybe get a lot of, out of what he has to share with us because his English is uh, at a very high level, and he's, I guess, has a lot of information he can uh, share with you to help you on your English language journey. So without further ado, let me introduce uh, Ricardo. Hola, Ricardo. How, Hi, how are you? Doing? Are you Gary? Okay. I'm doing fine. How about you? Perfect. For a Sunday, it's perfect. Nice okay. day today. How are things in Monterrey? Going okay? Uh, uh, things are getting better. We have a lot of problems with the water supply, but right, I think yeah. uh, uh, we, we received a lot of rain uh, two years, uh, two, two, two weeks ago. Okay, that's good. And the situation is uh, much better now. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. Okay, well, um, I'll just jump right into the questioning. Uh, hey, tell us about yourself, your name, where do you live, kind of what do you do or what did you do? And Yes, my, my name is Ricardo Morales Guajardo. Uh, I'm a uh, mechanical electric engineer. I studied here in Monterey. And currently, I manage my own business. I have okay. some rental pro properties. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I was okay. working for a company for about 20, 28 years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I left the company uh, about uh, two years ago. Okay. All right. Well, let me let the listeners know, too, that uh, Ricardo and I are uh, kind of, in. Uh, we speak, have an inter uh, exchange of uh, conversation exchange, and he helps me with my uh, Spanish, and I help him with his English, and we've been, I looked, I checked, we've been doing that for over two years, I think. Uh, been, maybe maybe in, longer. in February, we will have uh, three years. Three years, yeah. So it's been, a... More than two and a half years. Right. So it's been a long time. <laughs> We've known each other and kind of developed, I think, a good friendship. And we help sure. each other out a lot. He's helped me out a lot with my Spanish. So for those of you listening, too, that's, that's a good tip. It's good to, to practice. So go to, I think we met on Conversation Exchange site. Yes. So for you listeners, you know, go to Conversation Exchange. You can find people to talk with uh, in whatever language you want to learn. And they want to learn your language, so it's a good way to improve. Okay, uh, Ricardo, when when did you and how did you first start learning English? Yes, I think as as, a, as a, everybody with, with all of at least in Mexico, we started uh, learning English or or, or being taught uh, taught English uh, since uh, elementary school and mm -hmm. high school. Here, well, the elementary school. In, in U.S. Um, includes uh, primaria and secundaria in Mexico. It's a little different, but anyway, about uh, uh, the end of elementary school and high school, uh, they usually uh, have a English class, but it's a traditional system where you are, uh, you are, you are uh, they ask you to learn some vocabulary, some uh, the the alphabet, uh, some basic structures, but uh, you, you don't, you don't uh, uh, learn something about the real uh, mm -hmm. language, the pronunciation or, or more complex uh, structures. So uh, everybody said, okay, I'm learning English, but the reality <laughs> is very different. Right, right. Well, I can relate because the same, <laughs> same thing here in the United States when I took Spanish in high school. I didn't really learn learn much. Yeah, so you anything. think, uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm learning English. But right, when, right. when you uh, 
uh, have the uh, a, co a contact with a, a real situation when mm -hmm. English right. is spoken. You right. notice that <laughs> yeah. you, you don't know anything. <laughs> Wait a minute! I didn't learn a thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. And I know you you're very diligent about uh, your English learning. And so, why do you want to and continue to learn English? Why, why is it important to... for you? Uh... Yes, I think English is important for everyone. I think. Uh, for me, especially, uh, I like to have uh, access to uh, very uh, a lot of information, mm -hmm. quality information that is only in English. Usually, if I try to find my uh, that information in my native language, I will struggle with that. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's one of my my reasons. I I I I could I confess that when I was uh, out of the company three years ago, I tried to find another uh, regular job mm -hmm. uh, in another company, and I noticed that my uh, English level wasn't what I uh, want to be. What I the company will require mm -hmm. to have a nice position, a okay. better position. So I. Um, Enroll in an English uh, school called uh, Inglés Individual, and and I started again with uh, from zero mm -hmm. to to learn English again, and at the same time, more or less, I I met you uh, with uh, the language conversation, uh, the, the the application, and and I and, and I also started to I grabbed some. Uh, uh, digital apps like duolingo mm -hmm. uh, elsa speak mm -hmm. uh, bubble so i i've been using a lot of uh, resources uh, the idea is to be in in merge in mm -hmm. in the in the language that's the, the the thing and i also like to listen a lot of uh, uh, watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. any kind of uh, information in English is well received by me because uh, that uh, helped you uh, right. in, in, a, in one way or another. Okay. Well, you said you were had applied to a company just out of curiosity. In Mexico, I guess it it's it helps or it's beneficial to get a may say a better job for most people if they can speak. English yes. as well as Spanish. Yes, actually, I, I when I was uh, looking for 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 uh, a new job, I was interviewed in English uh, once or no twice or or three times, mm -hmm. and I remember I struggled with uh, not not understanding the, uh, the the interview with the questions, but I I I couldn't or I I couldn't say what I wanted to to, mm -hmm. to, to say. I, I have a, a, a like a kind of limitation mm -hmm. because I wanted to explain uh, one thing in, in deep and I couldn't and I was frustrated because of that. So mm -hmm. I said I decided I need to improve my my English level. Okay, okay. That's why I, I enrolled in, in this uh, journey. Journey, right? Okay. To the next question, um, what are some of the benefits you might have? touched on this already benefits of learning English um, other than maybe uh, get, getting a better job but say personally or one of, of those could, could be that uh, uh, finding a, a better job mm -hmm. here in Mexico is very important I think in the all over the world it's important uh, even though you don't uh, interact with the language every day uh, you will uh, you will have a contact with the language uh, one way or another, I think. Mm -hmm. Another thing, the benefits is uh, you have access, uh, as I said, mm -hmm. uh, to a lot of information because English, I think, is the most important uh, mm -hmm. language in the world. Uh, right. Everything, every, all the internet is written uh, in English, is spoken mm -hmm. in English. Yeah. Most of the information, I don't know uh, the percentage, but uh, you are very limited if you only uh, try to find information in your native language, right? Uh, as a Spanish, uh, Spanish uh, native, right? You know, I have to agree with you there because uh, I like to say, you know, learning Spanish kind of has opened up a door for me 
because, for example, I was real interested in what was going on in Colombia with the presidential elections a while back. And, you know, the U.S. media, there was really hardly any information about it, but I was able to watch some YouTube videos. I'm a YouTube junkie as well. I watch a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> and was able to watch some videos about the new president and the vice president, the first African-American woman, I think, elected in Colombia. And so I was able to understand most of it. So it's it's very, uh, it's a good way to and, expose and, and it's, yourself. It, and it's very, it's very good for your brain as, as well. Yes, see, see, exactly. <laughs> it's a, a nice uh, exercise uh, right. for your brain. Uh, when when you are uh, over 50s, mm -hmm. uh, the 50s, you need to uh, train your your brain, right? Right. More That's because a... that that will uh, take you away from the uh, mental diseases. I, mm -hmm. I mean, that, that would a, be yeah, another exactly. benefit. It's a very good point. Yeah, I read that it it could help maybe delay the onset of Alzheimer's, like you said, and and other uh, mental. Uh, diseases, illnesses, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, my next um, question for you, what do you think are the most difficult things about learning English, maybe in general? <laughs> and for, in general. For I know a lot of Spanish. <laughs> or <people>. in particular. <laughs> yes, so, uh, we, we are, as a, uh, Spanish speakers, we struggle a lot with the pronunciation mm -hmm. issue. Pronunciation is, is a very difficult thing especially when when you uh, i mean when you are in the in an english school here in mexico you don't have that problem because everybody have the <laughs> same <laughs> accent yeah. spanish accent you think it's spanish normal right? you think it's this is nor normal <laughs> but when uh, once you travel to us for example mm -hmm. uh, in my case uh, you say i don't understand anything <laughs> yeah, yeah i cannot understand these guys what's yeah. happening What's, yeah. what's happened with my, uh, what I learned in my yeah. school? Right. That's a, because of the pronunciation. The pronunciation is very different. Uh, in English, you have like uh, 14 vowels? 14, yeah, I, I think. think. I think so. 12 or 14 vowels. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and uh, the, the consonants have a different pr pronunciation as well. And uh, English uh, pronunciation is not like Spanish, where mm -hmm. you pronounce every every vowel, every consonant in the same right, way right. all the time. Yeah. Uh, in English, do, do, doesn't apply that. Don't mm -hmm. apply that. Because right. you have, a, sometimes you have uh, words that uh, if you don't know the word, uh, even for uh, 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 English speakers, you don't know how to pronounce it mm -hmm. for the first time. If you don't know the, uh, ha haven't pronounced that word specifically right right because uh, the, the rules are very there are no rules uh, real rules <laughs> yeah yeah uh, so you need to to live with that you need to accept accept it. that yeah <laughs> and, um, and yeah. deal with that yeah. that that's that's the way it is the same happened when you are uh, learn a uh, struggle with the spanish <laughs> oh right right i'm sure i have an accent marked accent in spanish too but... <laughs> What, how would you right. say what's a good way to help uh, with the pronunciation? Just listen, listen a lot and listen a lot. Speaking? I think I think uh, uh, the, the natural way we learn uh, languages when we are uh, uh, babies mm -hmm. is to, to listen. Mm -hmm. we, we have our childhood listen a lot mm -hmm. before speaking. Right. I think it's a not, mm -hmm. that's not natural way to, to learn a language. You need to listen a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, children have a, babies have a, a, a advantage over uh, adult people because they have a lot of time. You're right, right. To yeah. listen. They have uh, five, six years only mm -hmm. listen and well, they yeah. speak. Uh, they uh, start to speak slowly. Right, they yeah. made a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. But we, as a, as adults, we don't like to, right, to right. make mistakes. Exactly, that's a good with, point. Within, yeah. I don't like the uh, make making mistakes. That's why a lot of people uh, that learn a language as an adult have a struggle with that because they they are shy to to speak mm -hmm. because they don't want to make any mistakes, and that's right. wrong. Yes, exactly. Good point. Yeah, because I think about it, you know, like you said, a, a baby or kid, they're they're hearing the language 24-7, we say, 24 sure. hours. 
for like four or five years and we're, we're trying to learn an, another foreign language we think we can learn it like the video say in three months or six yes. months you know and or, it's not or realistic three hours. Or, three or three hours <laughs> learn a language in three hours <laughs> yeah it's not realistic you know it, <laughs> it's not it real. takes a child years and years of hearing it all the time so we need to kind of relax yes, and they, the, the child uh, they have a uh support uh, group of mm -hmm. people adult people that are correcting a child yeah. uh, every every day and they don't they don't we don't notice that mm -hmm. we only when, when we go to school five or six year old um we only we we, we already know how to speak right, to your right. native language usually uh, and this is natural for 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 to learning your your native language but when you you try to learn another language, you need to be patient because mm -hmm. it, it won't be easy. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, let me ask you maybe a, a deeper question. Since um, what has been your method to learn English? Like, what do you do, or what did you do specifically? Like, you, you think Duolingo? These apps are good. Yes. Yes. I, 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 it's, it's crazy your about Duolingo. <laughs> it's crazy about Duolingo. My mm -hmm. wife always asks me, when are you going to leave Duolingo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> your, your streak. Yeah, yeah. By the way, my, my streak right now, I, I'm not bragging about that. <laughs> <laughs> my streak right now is 980 days. Really? Ooh, <laughs> yes. Over two and years. I, huh? I, yes, almost three years. Yeah. Um, and I'm planning to leave Duolingo after I complete the 1,000 straight, okay. straight days. Straight days, okay. That, that's, that, that's the idea. Maybe I will continue, but okay. that's the idea. <laughs> and I also uh, bought, I, I've been investing not a lot of money, but I've been investing in some courses mm -hmm. like Bubble. I, I pay for the Bubble subscription, the premium sub okay. subscription for about one year. Uh, and I start uh, the, the, the application, very basic at, at first, then uh, it gets uh, some complicated. They, uh, they um, usually use both accent, both Prince main accents, mm -hmm. like Br British accent and American okay. accent. And that's a good thing, I, 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 I suppose. And, but then I am, I, uh, once the, the year finished, I, I leave a bubble. Uh, and I've been paying for Elsa Speak subscription. Okay. It's another uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence mm -hmm. right. uh, okay. application. It's, it's very good for, for pronunciation because it like, it's like you have a, a teacher or a friend mm -hmm. um, available 24-7 right. uh, okay. to, to listen to you and to correct your pronunciation, the nuances of the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Just uh, is when you notice that something is uh, you need to work on something specifically in your accent, right? Yeah, your pronunciation. Okay. Yeah, I know you told me about Elsa speaks, so I looked for something like that in Spanish, but I couldn't find it. So you know, no, shucks. Maybe some, someone will develop some, that the technology, and and it was interesting. I remember what that the, there's a test right, when you right. enter to the application. Uh, for example, I made a test. They, they um, uh, ask you to say some, some, uh, some uh, phrases, like a 20 phrases. Mm -hmm. uh, and and at, at the end, they mm -hmm. say, OK, you, your English uh, native level is like 78% uh, in my case. Mm -hmm near 80 uh, percent but it, you did the, that that yeah, uh, yeah. test and even the, that you are native <laughs> i didn't your, get 100 your, yeah. your grade weight was 90 90 something i don't remember 90 exactly. something 92, yeah. 90, 92, right 92. yeah even that so so you are not a complete na native yeah. speaker <laughs> yeah <laughs> according to elsa speak according to elsa speaks yeah <laughs> well also right. would you would you say um Besides the applications, it's important to, I know you said, listen, what about reading and writing or, and speaking? Or how would you gauge the importance of those three things? Yes, I, I like to, uh, I change my, my phone 
to 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 the English. I think it's important. Mm. I change the 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 the. The, the, the language in my phone, in my cell phone, to, to the English language. So everything that I receive uh, is in English. I like to read news in English. Uh, I bought some books in English, of course. Um, it's a good practice to uh, read out loud in English because that way uh, is not the same when you read in silence because when you read out loud, uh, your your tongue, your mouth uh, gets uh, get used to uh, speak the, the, the language, the, mm -hmm. the English uh, pronunciation. So it's a nice exercise. Everybody, everyone should do. Okay. Well, say on the flip side or the opposite side, are there any tips, suggestions, or things you would tell people not to do? when not trying to, to learn do. English? Not to do. Uh, set your expectations uh, to a real, uh, uh, get a, get your expectation to a real um, goal, mm -hmm. I, I think. Because sometimes I, I, I know people that say, hey, I, I would like to learn English, but I only want to study for about six months. <laughs> yeah. And I will be prepared for everything. Mm -hmm. you, you need to be patient. You need to be patient and be aware that when you are learning a language, uh, it will be a, a difficult uh, road. Mm -hmm. it, it won't be easy. Uh, right. You need to be patient. You need to study every day. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah, the okay. same study for example if you want to if you want to study five hours a week is not the same studying one hour a day mm -hmm. from monday to friday uh, that uh, study five hours only on, on saturday right right because the the brain works in that uh, tricky way that uh, you learn better when you are exposed to the to the, the, the language every day, even if just one hour or half an hour, mm -hmm. then if you only uh, take a lot of time, one, just one day, it's better to, to divide the, the learning uh, time uh, among the, the whole week. Right, that's, yeah, good. And that's apply for everything. Right, right. Yeah, be patient and st do something on a consistent, regular basis. I think that's key. Okay, so yes, um, what are you going forward? What are your goals as you continue to improve your English? Do you have like a set goal that you want to attain or reach? Um, yes, I, I, I have a, I, I'm mostly, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the, the, the process. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying the, the process, the, the learning process. Uh, I don't have a real goal that, okay, I will, in December, I will complete my English learning, mm -hmm. and that's it. And now I'm yeah. going to learn uh, French or Italian or another language. Mm -hmm. That's not my goal. My goal is to uh, learn more about English, uh, feel more comfortable uh, speaking, uh, listening, because that's uh, that's important to me. And I don't have a, a real goal. I'm, I'm enjoying the process. I'm enjoying the how the, the English sounds. Mm -hmm. I like okay. to, to to watch a lot of uh, 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 YouTube videos in English about different topics. No, that's the, the thing. That when you are in, in uh, you reach some level, you don't watch just English uh, learning uh, classes in YouTube. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, if you like, for example, I'm I'm uh, uh, learning uh, piano. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, uh, I, uh, I have two months learning piano uh, and, and I, I'm looking for information about that, but not in Spanish, in English. Okay, very good. That yeah. way you're, you're uh, how do you say, uh, hitting two birds with a oh, ki stone? Uh, killing, killing two killing. birds with <laughs> a stone, yeah. Good. That's, uh, for example, for, for the, by the way, that's one of the difficult things when, when <laughs> yeah. another difficult thing when you're learning a language, the right. pronunciation the phrasal verbs mm -hmm. and the idioms. Idioms, exactly. Very yeah. difficult because it's part of the culture. 
Mm-hmm. If right. you didn't uh, born in that culture, it's very difficult to understand uh, when to use some uh, phrasal verbs or mm-hmm. some idioms right, right. in a correct way. Correct. Yeah. Uh, for perfect timing is one of the challenges right. with with an, uh, another language. Yeah, I think it just takes time, practice. So, like I said, hey, just enjoy the journey, enjoy enjoy the process. That's enjoy good, the process. Good Don't words, rush. Don't words rush. of wis- wisdom there. Well, let me maybe you're at my final question. Um, have you had to use your English much and has it helped you out? Like in sure, certain circumstances, sure. I know you took a trip to the US, I'm sure yes, it was helpful. Re- re- yes, re- recently I, I traveled to US. Uh, I went to visit my sister-in-law, uh, the, the sister of my wife. The, they're uh, living in, in Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. It's very funny yeah. because Louisville yeah. is pronounced like a, have a like a eight or, or mm-hmm. nine, seven pronunciation. Right, right. Some people yeah. say Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. Some people See. say Louisville. Mm-hmm. It's very funny. But anyway, it's in Kentucky. It's where the the Derby, uh, Derby the Kentucky or, or Kentucky, right. Kentucky Derby, Derby is right. made. Uh, anyway. Uh, we went there to visit my my relative in law, uh, and I, I, we also have the plan to travel to Chicago. It's, it's like a five hours by by car, five or six hours by car, and we travel to to Chicago. And had I had the opportunity to know one of uh, my friends, my online friends, just mm-hmm. like you, I had the tax, uh, uh, I, had the, I, I had the task to visit you. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope that maybe next year, right? Uh, in the area of Houston and Huntsville. Uh, anyway, I, I have uh, I, I I could practice my English in that mm-hmm. tra- that trip. It's very amazing that uh, you you have more conf- confidence to right. speak with uh, with the American guys. Once you learn more, you you know that when they speak to you. You will understand mm-hmm. uh, if not a hundred percent. You will understand enough to to have a, a logic answer, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> something exactly. to, to say, uh, and it's an amazing feeling uh, that. And I have another situation. Uh, I, we, we traveled by bus from Louisville to to Chicago, and I had to use my my English. I had mm-hmm. to, yeah, right, because, right. Uh, yeah. I have uh, some trouble with. Uh, we, we have a, a, an issue, and I had I had to to use my English uh, to to um, I, I, to to have the to keep uh, the the things going well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need the, the English, and it, it was nice. The, the yeah. that trip it was nice because I had I've been I've, I had been two years more or less uh, in in, a, in an intense way. And that right. was like um, a test, a test for, for my, her, yeah. my, my skill. And we say <laughs> anyway. you, you passed with flying colors. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And like this gives you a sense of more confidence. I can do this. And I, you want to you would learn more and more. So that's yeah, just, just, just like your Spanish, you told me about yeah. it. Uh, right, right. Several weeks ago, you traveled to Mexico City and, and mm-hmm. you have more confidence to speak. Right, right. Yeah. Spanish is kind of similar. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess to wrap up the interview, do you have any like last words uh, you would like to say? Oh, yeah, I just uh, would like to, to say to your audience that, uh, that, that one of the keys is to be patient, enjoy the, the, the journey. It's mm-hmm. not a race. Mm-hmm. You, you will, um, you will uh, um, learn the language little by little. And don't worry, just uh, enjoy the, the journey and learn English and uh, that uh, skill will help you uh, all your life, uh, the rest of your life, I think. Okay, good advice, uh, Ricardo, we appreciate that. And sure Thank you listeners... for giving me the, the opportunity to invite me to this interview, Gary. Okay, you're welcome, no, no problem. Okay, listeners, we'll, you know, hopefully take some of these uh, tips from Ricardo and put them into practice, and I know they will benefit your English. So, again, thanks for watching, and we'll be uh, having maybe other interviews or other interesting uh, programs for you in the future. 
So until next time, uh, thanks for watching Learn Everyday English. Hey, goodbye. Bye-bye.